Hello everyone, it's Dave here. We're not gonna waste time uh, this video because we have like a lot to talk about, a lot to kinda analyze. I have both headsets here, so we're pretty much gonna be like doing a in-depth comparison of certain like just parts, hardware, software, pretty much everything kinda like you should know from what you're kinda like jumping into. For example, if you're going from Quest 1 to Quest 2, you should know specifically what's gonna change, what's different, what's better, for what's worse. We're gonna have kind of like a legend here, so we're pretty much it's gonna have green better, gray I guess neutral or I'm not really sure, <laughs> because some features like it's kind of hard to tell, and bad is just like shit. It just turned it shit. Also, we're having dual camera setup. Hello. <laughs> so you can see. <laughs> What's gonna happen, stuff like that, I'm just gonna, like, you know, visually I want to, to have, like, this setup to kinda show you exactly what's, like, the differences, like, the sizes, uh, exactly, like, the materials, stuff like that. Very kinda important stuff that not many kinda covered so far, which is kinda weird. <laughs> and I discovered some of the features that no one ever mentioned so far, but they are pretty detrimental to the usage of this new headset because some things are very badly produced which blows my mind that like no one really like mentions it in like those like you know big VR youtubers uh, and uh, no one even glanced over it but you can't really use this headset with some certain kind of char characteristics which will go over but that's for some reason I'm just kind of like slowly losing kind of trust in some of the creators here because of those issues that no one mentioned. So that's kind of intense intro but uh, here we go. I don't want to spend like 30 minutes on this video because I know it should be precise, concrete and let's just go. We're gonna do a split section of like and I'm gonna do a timestamps on the video with certain kind of like categories. I decided to split kind of that into three. We're gonna do external hardware, internal hardware, software and accessories or like accessories I'm gonna do kind of like in between talking about the certain parts. So like first of all you can see the Quest 2 is kind of smaller. You can try like you know really see kind of uh, from the side but like when you compare it from the like you know the, in the front it is smaller it is a bit lighter so the weight is kind of like not that hard on your face it is easier to wear from the first headset but for some reason it's wider you know like here <laughs> because of the strap that a light one and in both situations kind of like the cases for there are also different the case for quest 2 is way bigger than this one so you have to kind of like consider the fact that when you're gonna travel uh, you have to kind of like know how to pack because uh, you're not gonna get uh, the quest 2 all the time with an elite strap in your travel bag that's something to consider but at the same time you can just detach those uh, kind of thingies by just like you know snapping kind of those things and just attach the material strap which we're gonna talk about it in a second but so for travel usage for sure you're gonna have uh, to switch for the material because then the whole kind of headset folds so you're just living with this kind of section to pack without travel case the whole headset is plastic it's all plastic when we had kind of in quest one you know those kind of like material out area here plastic straps with some velcro just you know kind of spongy plastic thingy aside from the original sponge for the face all of the quest 2 is plastic when we are on the subject of the strap it's success. It's really <laughs> like I did not test it a lot, but I didn't care for the fact that you know after a while you could like have some pain in on your head and that's it. The problem I had with this one is that when I was like trying to wear it on my head, and it might be specific to my head. I don't know. Maybe I have big head or whatever. But when I can like <laughs> wanted to attach normally and just like you know secure it on my head, the fucking headset lifts up for some reason because I think it's because the straps comparing to the quest one here it's like 
a little bit on the bottom of your head so it kind of could uh, cap it a little bit on the back of your head but the material strap just caps kind of like top of it so when the weight of the actual headset kind of sits on your face the strap you tighten it but then the headset just like lifts for some reason so you can't really comfortably wear it not uh, being scared of just like falling enough when you're like you know moving around your head that's very weird <laughs> so going by the elite strap is i for now the only thing you can do only thing if you wanna like take it seriously and just like wearing it normally the elite strap itself it's not perfect when uh, you know people uh, were saying that it's like you know the only good thing it works but it's not completely good because I wish this like plastic here that you cover your kind of like back of your head was the same kind of like you know leathery material that I have here I mean I'm gonna kind of like compare it all, a lot because I'm really used to the this material of from VR cover because this combo of faceplate and the kind of back of your head uh, sponge is really what solved all the comfortability issues for my quest one so i wish this one would be the same as the one that i have but we'll see what the vr cover actually will think of pretty sure that you can't really order the leather part for this face body yet for the people that live in UK or like Europe, only for the US is available. But I think on Twitter I saw that they're gonna be shipping worldwide in like one or two weeks from now that I'm like, you know, releasing this video. So we'll see. Also really important kind of like, you know, feature of the Elite Strap. The best thing about this, no, it's not this, it's not like, you know, this. It's about this. This thing like pulls you in and pulls you out of the space that you create like between your headset uh, and your head. This is probably the best uh, thing that I've tried in terms of like comfortability thing because you can really secure the headset on your head. So Quest 2 with this strap is actually way more secure comparing to the plastic kind of this thingy elastic way more secure when you're like moving around your head a lot so i'm very happy with that i'm not like scared to headset to go flying around <laughs> the actual like this uh, phone that's here it's not that bad comparing to the stock one of the quest one quest one was hard sponge this one is like very kind of softer it feels like sponge that you have like on your kind of like microphones you know that like block kind of the discrepancies from the environment you know like the sound this feels nice so i'm not really sure if like buying the vr cover leather one is gonna be really that mandatory anymore it's gonna be mandatory in, the, in terms of if you're playing a lot of exercise or, or like workout intensive games because then you, the sponge does not absorb sweat and stuff like that for a stock one this is it's not that bad now here comes one of the bigger parts the lenses so the lenses are apparently the same the problem with them now because here this like interior is all plastic remember that quest one had like you know this kind of like mesh so air could normally flow here and not people people know that but on the sides here like on the left and right you have kind of like mini fans going on so you can like can feel a faint flow of air inside when you're wearing the headset that ultimately it prevents lenses to fog up while you're like you know hot and like uh, sweating and just like you know there's just like hot air trapped inside the space between your eyes lenses and just like you know the headset itself because this is the plastic there is no airflow here so there's no ventilation lenses fog up <gasps> after about 15 minutes of kind of average you know kind of like you know moving uh, type of like games like until you fall beat saber stuff like that i would say 15 20 minutes on average they start to fog up so you start to not see certain things i don't know how no one really mentioned it because this is actually a big thing 
there is no airflow in the space here because of this plastic that I don't know how it passed the quality test in Oculus and how no one f uh, thought of it. But this is a big issue. <laughs> I'm pretty sure because of all the kind of like, you know, cost uh, of materials and just like, you know, cutting it down to 100 uh, bucks less for the actual headset, they cut down the materials, but they cut down the feature that prevented lenses to fog up because of this material mesh and those like fans on the back. So this is a problem, a very big problem for people who use a lot of Beat Saber, a lot of like, you know, workout in VR or like specifically games that require a lot of movement and generate a lot of heat and there's no dispatch of that. So there's that, okay? Microphone is apparently better. I've been talking to people all, on all space and they told me that they can clearly see, hear me and just like, you know, understand me kind of better from the first quest. So that kind of like interesting, but I'm pretty sure it's because the microphone is on two sides. So it's here and on the other side here because of those like two kind of dots here. So I think like the communication would be better on the quest too so far from what I've heard. Everybody pretty much knows about this IPDE adjustment that you just like, you know, click in one place and just uh, swipe it. I didn't have any issues with that. My setting is pretty much perfectly in the middle. So there's that. Quest 1 had like a slider, but it's not that big of a deal for me at least. And the last thing from the external thing are the placements of the ports, specifically audio jacks for me. Original Quest had like one jack on this side and one jack on this side. So we have two jacks. Now see where it is positioned. It's positioned like here. So there's like a really short space to go to your ears. This motherfucker <laughs> has only one jack and it's before power cord for some reason. I feel like someone was not working at the lab that day. <laughs> but someone's working in the lab. And aside from the lenses, the most annoying thing is the audio jacks. Let me tell you why. Because I have official Oculus earphones. So not only I can't really use it because as an official accessory of Oculus with the other headset and they just pretty much <laughs> erased one audio jack for no reason. I don't know why they did it. They really could just leave it here this audio jack and it, everything would be fine. And on the other side, there was no problem with that. I don't know why they changed it for one. I guess for the headphones users, but like you're really going to go with a disadvantage of someone that bought your official accessory and just dropping it. That's psychotic. <laughs> but I'm a MacGyver, so I have a workaround of it. I bought the splitters for the audio jack. So I'm just pretty much just gonna do that. Plug it in here, do kinda some velcro magic here and uh, have it go on two sides. So I will have, at the end of the day, a usage of it. But like I have to walk around on top of the headset here to just use it. So earphone master race for me and I won the battle, but <laughs> I don't know why they did it. So that's the, on them, I guess. Concerning the blind people, <laughs> so me, <laughs> I have VR covers here. So those are like prescription lenses that I took from my Quest 1 and I could fit normally in my Quest 2. So I can see properly at least that, at least this accessory works. <laughs> Let's go with the controllers now. The Quest 2 controller is a little bit bigger than the Quest 1. I mean, you can't really tell here, but you can tell by the kind of like curve of it. It's essentially that the panel here is like bigger than here. This is like kind of like this uh, triangle like rack shape this like this oval that this has like more space but like this is the same amount of buttons and just like everything is pretty much the same by the way I cracked my wipe while playing until you fall here so it still works but it's like <laughs> shit happens I guess when you're playing those games so quest one had like you know this kind of like magnetic uh, thing here that could sometimes slide off I didn't really have any problems with that because I'm throwing my controllers around my house <laughs> but this is the proof that <laughs> I did. <laughs> Quest 2 doesn't have magnetic. It has just like clips here. So it's just like you have to just push it in and it works like that. And it's not coming very easily. It's like you really have to kind of put it 
a little bit of force here to open it so i think the issue of just sliding the cover off is pretty much just gonna be solved in this case here and the battery for these bad boys are pretty good like it is still on 100 percent just like anyone was mentioning apparently those last three times longer than the other those ones which is essentially the same control but i don't know what magic they did but essentially you're gonna have way more playtime on normal batteries here <laughs> like this is gonna last a long time even with rechargeables or like whatever and that i'm pretty sure concludes like the external hardware it was rough <laughs> And this is pro probably the only section that like got like, you know, downgraded a lot comparing to the Quest 1. I'm very surprised about the lenses actually that I found out about this when I was uh, playing Until You Fall Now to just like kind of like see how the FPSs work and just recording. And on that PlayStation they fog up just like randomly. I had no idea that this actually is gonna be like that. So I, I, I don't really know what's gonna be the workaround of it. Maybe I've had to some install just uh, some anti-fog like I don't know either lenses or just spit it like on the diving kind of goggles you spit in order to not it fo to fog up maybe I'm gonna do that for the VR headset now <laughs> so it sucks that the first kind of section is like you know negative kind of but it all goes uh, uphill from here, so don't worry. <laughs> First of all, let's talk about the actual processor, the XR2. It's an obvious upgrade from the Snapdragon. I mean, wait, those are both Snapdragons. I mean, this 835, I think it was, as well as, you know, this upgraded kind of RAM. For me, this is both the same thing, and it leads to one very major feature. So short loading times of anything. Currently my Quest 1 was like booting up I think in like 2 minutes. Initial booting time was 2 minutes. Quest 2 is like 10 seconds. Not only you know this like doo -doo 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 -doo, this like you know this music that it plays while turning on. This music does not finish and the headset is already on. So that is huge. You're not only not wasting your time, you're just like instantly in VR. My thing is that I love time management and just like, you know, not wasting time on like hardware especially. So for me, loading times are like at least half the price of this headset already that I can instantly just go into the headset. And games but die that specification as well. When I was playing Until You Fall, for the comparison, the loading times are like much shorter, maybe at least of a half amount, because the processor is that fast. So you're just like really just speed running. <laughs> Cameras are pretty much the same, storage is storage so it's not gonna be like an issue whatsoever, you buy either smaller one or bigger one, depends on your kind of like usage of the VR headset. Display panel, like it's switched to LCD which uh, I don't really get when people say that it's like there are lesser blacks or like you know black pixels or just like colors are different. For me the colors are exactly the same so maybe my eyes are just like fucked up or it is really for like the veterans of, of VR that notice those things but for me the display panel even though it's changed for me it doesn't really matter however what matters is the resolution bit <laughs> because when i was seeing normally on the quest one when you're seeing through the actual like lenses you can kind of see like those kind of light small triangles those are essentially like pixels i think it's called screen door effect not really sure maybe screen door because of the texture of the triangles who knows but on the quest 2 bitch there's like literally 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 nothing <laughs> like i could not see a lot of it i mean to the point that there are like pin needles they are not really visible now so like the clarity is very very good you can just normally read the stuff and you're not like trying to squint your eyes to see so like for low quality kind of subtitles or like anything kind of text based now you can really read it <laughs> so that's cool but at the same time because there's this clarity now you see the games that had shit graphics now 
they have even shittier graphics because you can clearly see what like garbage some uh, objects are graphically so we're gonna judge games <laughs> worse on that category <laughs> up until they won't like upgrade or like patch in the quest to support so developers beware because people are gonna see more shit now because of this clarity <laughs> the refresh rate is uh, pretty much the same now there is an option to kind of like switch uh, for the 90 hertz i think now it uh, works only at home and like browser which is whatever they didn't really notice the difference between 72 and 90 maybe when i will start playing games uh, it will kind of like you know under those dynamic games maybe that's when i will realize but like now nothing really changes for me battery life uh, for now when i was testing it it's a little bit shorter but it's essentially like those like you know two two and a half hours of uh, play time which is still a lot because in vr for some reason like the time kind of flows slower slower so after like two hours you're literally go you're gonna be dead <laughs> because you're gonna be just exhausted from playing so the battery for now it's not gonna be any issue whatsoever and now you have this bullshit battery strap bundle you can buy this but at the same time i have like a fanny pack with a power bank in it so essentially i just uh, cut up some holes on the side for the ports so i'm essentially just like you know strapping like a belt here or like on my hips and it works excellently just with the cable and for me this is like at least like 10 hours of uh, gameplay because the power bank is that big and solid the oculus strap is like additional like two hours so this is not that big of a deal but with this you don't really have to recharge it like you know this will like last you for one week maybe at least of playtime if you're not gonna charge the headset or like anything at all and that's gonna be i think for the performance wise hardware interior exterior whatever let's just go into the fastly the software essentially i want to mention like the recordings because as a content creator uh, here for vr it is a struggle and it not always was it kind of was fixed through some updates essentially the audio dissings but they are still out here as well quest 2 did not change it i think at that much that i've noticed i'm very anal <laughs> about the audio dissings i really pay attention to the, that and when i'm seeing you know some big uh, youtubers that uh, did not care at all just like synchronize the sounds that are, are actually happening it kind of is a little bit unprofessional for me but that's just my opinion <laughs> essentially the same fps's are with the recordings the same process the same files the same like resolutions of those recordings still square still the same frame height so it kind of sucks that on the recording side nothing really happens i mean really those audio desyncs are not that bad as it used to be but for me when i really care like i'm kind of like perfections in that kind of realm you've seen me when uh, something happens with the audio i'm immediately got pissed off at the video and it's already like i hate it i do just want to kill myself i just want to set on fire this video and that's it <laughs> especially what happened like recently with res infinite i don't know what happened but like it was just downhill if something happens like that that's just ugh, sucks but yeah because of the software it's pretty much the same the same ios the only thing kind of changes are that you're forced to have this universal kind of new menu you can't really change it for the old one that you could use on the quest one so now you're forced to relearn where everything is kind of takes short amount of time to get used to i didn't have a problem now so it's whatever essentially but yeah closing i think the official kind of re review the headset is worth it like overall it's worth for the sole hardware purpose of like loading times just like you know just that everything is faster better graphics better everything Thing. it just sucks that stuff like comfortability things that you can fix at the end of the day but it's like those glaring problems of comfortability issues and uh, for me those lenses and those audio jacks are gonna be such a pain in the ass especially i think lenses i don't know what to do with those i was so surprised that it, it was like that and no one mentioned it i have no idea at the end of the day it is a good up upgrade hardware wise it's just that some things were missed in the testing processes so it is what it is
now <laughs> that should be the end of the video but uh, now <laughs> i mentioned on the monday's update video with this just like pure mayhem of releases on monday and uh, tuesday i think i at the end of the day i released like eight videos in two days nine counting the update but like fuck oculus really like trolled me that day so just thank you for consideration that like this week was just hard in general you know it's gonna get better from moving outward now i'm completely switching to o using oculus 2 because you can't really switch it back even with those annoying issues essentially like you're gonna look past it eventually but i won't be getting back to the quest one <laughs> that's the result of that but i was side tracking basically on the monday's update video i mentioned that there was a giveaway <laughs> and not many people got that <laughs> Essentially that was my tactic, <laughs> you know, if you don't watch the whole video, you will miss on certain things and this was the case of missing pretty much the giveaway, you know, so people who did not watch the end kind of section did not enter the giveaway, so that's whatever, that's on them. <laughs> but for the people who got it and watched it and entered, thank you, I mean for the words of like, you know, encouragement and just, I guess kind of like realizing that I have like a purpose here making those videos and I'm happy that I'm making other people happy. I think that kind of ca what counts. So essentially out of seven people that commented only five, I mean uh, so far uh, five <laughs> actually entered the giveaway and just like I said that I'm gonna like you know up the prize pool this time. Those all of those five people receive the price of 30 bucks each pretty much gonna be through paypal because uh, oculus does not support gift cards now but you can normally buy games on the store through paypal so because i already did a giveaway that kind like in my first kind like 100 sub video this should not be an issue this time and everyone gets uh, 30 bucks those five people which are virtual waypoint wolf turen Hermesty, I think that's what it's called, Traveling Man and Ion the Icon. Those five people get the prize. Just uh, contact me, I don't know, through email, Instagram, like Oculus app, however you wanna, write to me and we'll sort it out and uh, it's just gonna... You get free shit, that's it! <laughs> you know, I like doing uh, things like that because essentially I hope it just goes to the good cause of like, you know, enjoying the VR and that's what we are being here doing so but at the same time there was a situation <laughs> and i'm gonna be shading someone here that received the prize and like i think one or two weeks later fucking dropped my ass uh, here and unsubscribed and just pretty much went away with an excuse here's the comment <laughs> that i don't do enough quest videos so there are backstabbing bitches here so it sucked but whatever it is what it is we're on youtube after all <laughs> so again thanks for like you know all the support it's pretty much good gonna be uphill from here next week i feel like we have what yeah we have population one release and just like you know just it's gonna get busier bit busier but like we have this headset now and uh, we're gonna use the fuck out of it so that's it i feel like for today if i missed something just like ask me because now i'm gonna be like just constantly with this headset and if you have like any questions just like ask me and i will tell what i know if i missed anything but yeah i think uh, i pretty much got a good uh, insight on what's going on here and things are not perfect with this headset but we're going with it i mean do we have a chance choice i mean choice there's no choice there's just oculus facebook and that's pretty much it for now unfortunately but it is what it is all right let's finish it i'm going crazy <laughs> bye <laughs>